the Supreme Court is expected to uh, issue its final ruling on a Mississippi abortion case, which could trigger the overturning of Roe v. Wade. An unprecedented leak of the court's draft opinion early last month shows that may happen. It would allow states to set their own abortion measures rather than the federal government. So, what would that mean for abortion laws here in the state of Tennessee? Well, as News Channel 5's Kyle Haran shows us, there are a number of different options, and they all depend on the specific language of the high court's opinion. In Tennessee, there is one thing that is certain. There is an appetite from some state lawmakers to change abortion laws and to restrict it more than it already is. How will the Supreme Court affect that? That is still yet to be seen. And the very specific language of that opinion could have ripple effects across the entire legal landscape. Without objection, the motion reconsidered is tabled. Call up the next bill. From lawmakers on all sides of the issue, there's a lot of anticipation of what the U.S. Supreme Court will do. When will it happen? It could be a few days or it could be a couple of weeks. And there have been lots of bills about abortion that have been introduced every year. News Channel 5 political analyst Pat Nolan says depending on the final decision, it's likely it will lead to new laws in the state. I do believe there will be be more legislative action in the legislature because I believe after that ruling, I'm not sure how many more restrictions they can bring to abortion in Tennessee, but they may be starting to look instead in the uh, contraceptive area and other things to limit the ability of people to go out of state. State Republicans are hesitant to say whether it could be the trigger ban passed back in 2019 or perhaps the state's heartbeat bill, which bans abortions after a fetal heartbeat is detected. We talked with Lieutenant Governor Randy McNally about Mississippi's abortion ban, which is the challenge the court is considering. After 16 weeks, Abortions can't be performed unless the uh, health or, or life of the mother is in danger. It's difficult to say without seeing the final Supreme Court decision uh, what will happen. We hope at least the Mississippi law would be upheld. Uh, whether they go further than that uh, remains to be seen. Democratic lawmakers, such as Representative John Ray Clemens, believe it could lead to legislation he feels is dangerous. The heartbeat bill requiring ultrasounds, requiring a woman to view the ultrasound before even making a decision, even if she is within six weeks of gestational age. All these types of issues are on the table and up for legal review. Kyle Horan, News Channel 5. All right, Kyle, now how Tennessee's laws will conform to a ruling will eventually fall to the state attorney general, Herbert Sl Slatery. His office says they're waiting to see what the court decides before commenting.